Hello, Le Creuset Recruitment Team. My name is David Deutsch, and I'm applying for the position of Group Digital Marketing Director for Le Creuset. So, I know that your time is precious, and I can tell you probably saw that this video is about 30 minutes long. So, you're probably thinking, oh, I'm not going to watch this whole video. You don't have to. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to cut straight to the point and say what I need to say quickly. And then the rest of the video is going to be describing the many, many of the techniques that, uh, that I can bring to the table or that at least Le Creuset should consider including in their digital marketing strategy um, over the next 18 months. So first of all, I want this job more than all of the other applicants that you're going to be receiving. I can say that not because it's a fact, but because by the time you've finished looking at all of the other applications, this will be the longest video. If there is any other video, I would be really surprised, but this will be the longest video and it will have the most information that I could possibly muster to share with Le Creuset about their digital marketing strategy on a global scale. That's what I'm hoping anyway. That's not the reason you're going to hire me, however. I am absolutely qualified for the role of Group Digital Marketing Director, Global Digital Marketing Director. I have done the job many times before. Once I did it for Canon Europe, that was one of the largest uh, SEO accounts that I've ever closed. And I was working for Fortune Cookie at the time in 2011. I was responsible for the SEO strategy for 32 countries and 27 languages across Europe and it was very very successful but that's not the only company I worked for at fortune cookie I also worked for Le Creuset while I worked at fortune cookie we've worked together before I was in the UK at the time this was almost 10 years ago so probably nobody remembers me and I, I can hardly remember the, uh, the the fine details of the account but we have worked together before I know the brand guidelines of Le Creuset. I know what you will accept. I know what the brand demands of its marketing. And I know what you're not willing to do, and I know what you are willing to do. I know what you need to do, and that's what I'll be talking about for the rest of this video. Now, that's it for, for selling myself and whatnot, but uh, I needed you to know that. Now, the rest of this video is all about the details. So if you wanna stop watching now, and give me an interview, well, that's great. But even if you um, even if you continue watching, that's also wonderful. I'm go you can share this information, you can share this video with anyone in Le Creuset, even if you hire someone else. They're probably gonna wanna know about some of these techniques because they are obscure, advanced digital marketing techniques. This isn't saying, I'm not saying this to brag, I'm saying this because Le Creuset is not using these techniques yet. Most e-commerce sites are not using these yet, and they are completely free and available and Google sponsored. So without further ado, I'm going to start presenting to you uh, many different things. All of the things that I'll be presenting to you is directly according to the position summary and the, uh, the scope and responsibilities of the, of the role. I noticed that you put, uh, provide strategic, uh, operational, analytical guidance, all of these things is what I do. Uh, data analytics is the primary, is maybe 50% of my whole job. And then the rest of it is finding new advanced techniques that will get us more clicks, more impressions, more clicks, higher click-through rates, more sales, higher conversion rates, more high value consumers, and ultimately for as cheap as humanly possible on a global scale. I'm going to show you today throughout this uh, little presentation as quick as I can, I promise. I'm going to show you that I am a global digital marketing expert. I might not be the best in the world, but I'm sure I, but I sure am at the top 100. I'd like to think so anyway. I have no proof to back that one up. Let me share the good stuff. All right. Le Creuset, um, you sell luxury cookware and uh and it's not just anything i actually have a couple of, of your pots it's really really good super super high quality and the brand is very very old even my my mother knows all about the, uh, all about the brand but the there is always a challenge with luxury brands such as le creuset such as uh, small luxury hotels of the world for example which is another one of my clients and canon europe you can't always do every marketing technique that's out there because it doesn't fit in very well with the brand. Well, that's the case for the most part, but 
with all of the techniques I'm about to present to you, I, none, none of these should inf infringe on the brand guidelines of Le Creuset. Allow me to demonstrate on some of the, uh, on, on some of the products that, uh, that you sell. First of all, let's talk about structured data. Now, everything I'm about to tell you from here, there's about 10 different tabs. If you want to skip ahead, that's fine. But structured data is not, it's primarily made for SEO, fair enough, but not just for Google. It's also prepared for Yahoo, Bing, Naver in, uh, in, in South Korea, and, and of course, Japan. And these structured data uh, opportunities are completely free of charge. The best part about everything I'm about to show you regarding structured data, as the group digital marketing director, this is a huge, huge win for Le Creuset because the technical team will only need to do the work once. And just like that, the entire world, every, all of the 50 countries and all of the 34 websites, languages that I, I counted 34 language websites that Le Creuset has, all of them will benefit from everything I'm about to show you instantly because it's a, it's a centralized uh, a technical uh, advance. And because the technical team doesn't have to do one product at a time, they don't have to do one page at a time. They just have to install the code in the right place in the CMS and it'll update all of the pages instantly. Well, instantly. I say instantly, this is a great deal of work. It's a really big company. Nothing is done quickly. Even if we can do it quickly, it's a bad idea. You fix one thing, you break another. We strategize. We structure the plan. The technical team and I go back and forth until they're ready. And then when everybody's ready, we implement in a few days and then the work continues from there. The other thing that you'll notice about structured data before I go on is that you are, is Le Creuset is missing some really key, high important content, such as video, such as some images, uh, but you already have al almost everything else that you need in order to overdevelop that content and present that content at the top of Google and all over the front page of Google, not just position one. Would you like to see a demonstration of what I'm talking about before I go on? Let me show you, let me show you how I succeed. Wait, 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 where is it? I'm lost. Wait, oh no, there it is. My website is searchtitans.com. When you type into Google e-commerce audit course, yeah, that's why I'm applying to your role because that's, I actually teach this stuff, right? I've done it so many times, now I teach it. Uh, but this is just my consulting project. When you type in e-commerce audit course, that's not my brand term. Search Titan is my brand term. So how am I in position one and position two? Because that's what we do. The rating systems, the five-star ratings that you see in position one, that's from SEO rank, that's from SEO reviews using, wait for it. I'll find it. I'll find it. Here it is. Where did it go? It's in here somewhere. Review snippet code. I'm not going to talk to you about the technical aspect of this. I'll talk to your tech guys, assuming you hire me. But even if they, even if you don't hire me, all you have to do is go to developers.google and click this and follow the instructions because it's not currently being used correctly on every single page of Le Creuset. I was just double checking to make sure of that in fact. And I think this is the one. So this is Le Creuset uh, Bouillard uh, Connet. Oh, by the way, I speak French, uh, like fluent French. That's, you know, uh, and English, as, as you can tell. Uh, and, I'm, and I'm learning Japanese and Korean. So anyway, when you type this, when you, when you look at this uh, particular product in the structured data testing tool of Google, you'll notice that it is there, but it's not perfectly done. The brand isn't there, the description is missing, the image is missing, offers, review, the skewed. There's a lot more, you could put videos. So it's not up to date yet from a technical standpoint. And those are really, really cr crucial elements to every product that you have to offer in every language on every search engine. What I'm showing you now is the Google tool, sure, but Yahoo and Bing pick up this structured data because it's a, it's a shema.org it's, it's Shema.org that, uh, that represents the technique. Now, you might think this is really cool. Great, Dave. Fine. Sure. But wait for it. What happens when you click on images? Now, this is really important. 
the Le Creuset is not the Creuset e-commerce site is not using the product structured data correctly, and I'll show you why in a minute. Because you see this image, this is my e-commerce image. That's a product image, whereas I have some other pro uh, images that are not product images, but this one is, and you can tell because it says in stock right there. It says in stock. It says in stock, and those are my product images. Because I use structured data on the product page, Google Images shows up within stock. And believe it or not, to Le Creuset, this is critical. And I'd like to show you that because I was looking at it myself. Where did it go? Here it is. No, this is the Japanese one. Well, Japanese as well. Le Creuset is not appearing anywhere on, Jap on Japanese uh, um, search terms. This uh, this terminology here is, I believe, luxury cookware set in Japanese, but even in Google Images, we're not showing up, something that I'd like to remedy rather quickly. And just in case you're wondering if I can do it, I'd like to show you. This is my one of my websites that I built for as demonstration to a luxury client, a luxury food client. How exciting is that, right? You wanted someone that has experience in luxury food, right? Well, on this website, I only represent the highest quality of ultra premium extra virgin olive oil. At, as you can see, it's about a 200 and it's about a 200, 250 euros per uh, for this set of, of olive oil. And uh, this one is also uh, this is 250. That one's 350 euros. That's for the gold. Uh, thank you very much. There's gold flakes in the olive oil. And it's Greek and this one's Italian and this is the white truffles cost so much money so it's luxury only white truffles and black truffles black truffles is secondary white truffles are much more rare very delicious very hard to come by and so on Google uh, where is it again here's my website so this is Google Search Console. Just to make it clear and quick that I really do know how to do this. As you can see, I'm in position seven and position five for this keyword. And what does that mean? It means truffle farm. And as you can see, there's over 800 impressions. And I have a, a, a very high click-through rate. I have 40 clicks for that keyword, for people looking for truffle farms, for truffles, because you can only get them from Italy anyway. And I'm in that and I have that. And this is a demonstration website. I can't even sell this yet because I'd have to buy it, ship it, and then sell it, so it's complicated. And it's only a demonstration. And it's in Japanese. I made the entire website in Japanese myself using Google Translate and going back and forth with some Japanese colleagues of mine to make sure that the content is legitimate. I use images in the right locations in the right way. The content is very clear, it's very powerful, and uh, it's very successful. Please excuse the graphic design. I'm not a good graphic designer. I'm a digital marketer. I hire excellent graphic designers when uh, you know I, I could afford it, but this was a demonstration website, so I just made this quickly myself. So as you can see, I really do mean what I say, and I say what I mean. Now, when you click on videos, and this is the part where I would really like to discuss with Le Creuset, the next level of the digital marketing strategy for Le Creuset has to be videos. One, you offer recipes. You have to because of your, of your product type. But those recipes are not very well listed according to the, wait, wait for it, here it is, the recipe structured data is not well used. There's a bunch of missing elements on some of the recipes and you don't, we don't yet take advantage of the carousel. The carousel is a very obscure um, uh, um, structured data technique for SEO. It works on Google. Mm, I think it also works on Yahoo and Bing. And you could use it for recipes. You could use it for many other things, for videos, recipes, restaurants. And guess what? Le Creuset. Le Creuset actually... Uh, oh wait, no, because I live in Champéry and I was really looking forward, well, I used to live in Champéry, I was really looking forward to coming to work in Lugano. I love that. Wait, wait, give me one moment. I want to show you the, the local listings of Le Creuset. You have, uh, in France, you have three listings that show up. Okay, that's just me and my, another example of, uh, of what we, of what I can do, but that's not important. What is, oh, here it is. No, no, that's not it either. Oh, 
where did I put, where did I put, where did I put it? It's, oh, there it is, finally. Apologies for the long delay. As you can see, you have your three listings here in France. But I don't know if you know this, but, well, the carousel, Google Carousel, has a limited edition for restaurants who have all of their recipe uh, snippets done, who have some videos, images, you can actually have all of your listings in the carousel. You're not a restaurant, but you're very, very, very close to it. And I think I can convince Google, well, I will convince Google because I've done it before. I can convince Google to, to, to publish your structured data as a carousel and your locations as a carousel as well which is really, really neat. And usually it's only reserved for, uh, for restaurants. Where is that information? It's, it's on this page somewhere. I'm not going to waste your time looking for it in the video, but that is in the carousel section. And none of these elements are being used at the moment on, on, on Le Creuset, all of them free of charge. When I, when, when I talk to the technical team, we'll prioritize first the techniques that are absolutely mandatory recipes, definitely, Product, absolutely, there's no, there's no time to waste and allow me to demonstrate. Here we are, that's Google Shopping sponsored, fine. And then there's Le Creuset. Do you see in stock next to your image? There isn't, that's a product listing. There's supposed to be the structured data that says that product is in stock, but it doesn't. Therefore, whoever uh, picantino.fr is, they have it in stock, and I'm going to click on them to buy the product and not Le Creuset, even though it's the same product, because they have it in stock. I know that because I'm looking at it. That's a huge thing. So this is something that we need to do quickly and efficiently. We're already using product, uh, product um, structured data to a certain degree, but it needs to be enhanced. There's a lot of missing elements. We're not talking about doing video just yet. This would be after we've established more of the uh, advanced uh, SEO uh, marketing techniques. The logo pro is not being used. The logo structured data not currently being used. And Le Creuset has their brand guidelines. I know how important that logo is. We're not using breadcrumbs appropriately on the website. Easy fix. Local business listing is not listed in SEO. It's only listed on Google My Business. Google My Business can be improved a little bit uh, for SEO purposes, but local business listing is goes into the structure of the website, and it's important for every country uh, uh, in the world where Le Creuset, uh, where Le Creuset currently uh, resides. Recipes we discussed, carousels we discussed, that's a very advanced technique. Honestly, it's not a priority right now. It's the, it's the second priority after we cover the basics of structured data, which will only need to be done once by the technical team and maybe it will need to be updated by each country maybe but we'll discuss that at a different time i think that we can i've done it before where i update all products in all languages through an excel sheet which makes things go much 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 faster but that's a question for uh if you even hire me we can discuss the the technical details prioritizing these elements is crucial Videos, since you don't yet have enough videos to really warrant this, this is in third priority because until we actually start producing the kind of videos that are crucial for Le Creuset. I can go on for a very long time and I can describe to you that I can, I can say with confidence that we need thousands of videos in every language, but we don't need to spend them thousands of dollars per video. We need just high quality, like what I'm doing now, probably a little bit better with the, the cooking pots. We need to answer basic questions. Some of the videos will be 10 seconds long. Others will be 45 minutes long because people want your content. You are the experts in luxury cookware in the world. You have to act like it and you have to tell people what they want to know in as much detail as they need to hear it. We can do that for cheap. Just a good actor, a good camera, a good placement behind. Uh, I mean, I see how many images you have. They're beautiful. And I know your brand guidelines. All of these things come together to present 
an enormous uh, opportunity of getting higher click-through rates for every keyword in the world in every language without spending one extra dollar. Now you might be thinking, that's all great Dave, but is it really that impressive? I'm in position one for e-commerce audit course. Great, good for you Dave. Well, I'm also in position three. Okay, fine. I'm also in positions of the rest of the page. I have one, two, three, four, five, six listings on page one of Google videos. My videos are terrible. They're just like this. And I'm still, I still have uh, uh, six positions on, uh, on page one of Google for videos because nobody does videos. And when uh, Le Creuset really devotes the time and effort, then they will have the same effect on all of their most powerful, most profitable keywords. We don't have to do this for a bouilloire, uh, just a tea kettle. That's probably not profitable enough. But there are most of your kits, most of your gift sets are worth hundreds and hundreds of pounds each. And as you can see, it's actually possible to dominate the entire page. There's only one listing on this entire on this entire front page of Google for Google videos, there's only one that's not David Deutsch, just one. I dominate page one of Google for the keyword SEM audit course, and I would like to do the same for you. But I, dig I digress. This isn't about me. It's about Le Creuset and the potential that Le Creuset has to dominate every single keyword in every single language that we choose to target. We don't really have a choice. Le Creuset is in the middle of an industry that is ultra, ultra competitive. Everybody in the world needs cooking pots and they've been being produced, cooking pots have been produced for literally tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of years. This is the most competitive market in the world. We need to stand out because we're the best, not because we need to, but because people expect it of us. And that's what I want to help Le Creuset do. In the job description, I noticed that you were talking about Amazon and other partners. Now, if I had to take a wild guess, I would say that other partners represent about 20% of Le Creuset's sales. Amazon probably represents 5 to 15%. And then uh, the e-commerce site of, Am of, uh, of Le Creuset, maybe 3 to 15% if I had to take a wild guess. But the rest of it is going to be local shops selling most of your products because these are high priced products and the consumer has a different demand than just getting a pot to cook in, right? They want the experience. They want to know all about your quality and they know that Le Creuset has the best quality, has the, has the best um, finest uh, tools and the finest people working on it. Anything Swiss made or French made is, uh, is expected to be good, but everyone uh, expects very highly of Le Creuset. One thing that I've noticed on this particular product, it was hard to find when I typed in luxury cookware, I had to put in Le Creuset, because the word luxury does not appear. It doesn't appear anywhere in the title tag. That is an optimization mistake for Amazon. There's very little that you can do with Amazon when it comes to uh, optimizing. You can't use structured data as much as I'd like to because they won't allow um, uh, HTML. But what we can do is, is add videos. There's plenty of places to put videos which would really set us apart and also optimize the, the product description can be much longer than this and that will help us to optimize for the keywords that will get us more sales inside of Amazon. Not to mention the title of the product. Now, this is where we might get into a little bit of a, of a, of a fight with the brand guidelines of, of Le Creuset. I've had this discussion before. In fact, I've had this discussion with Manpower France, again, a multi, uh, 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 um, a global company who hired me uh, a few, a few uh, years ago to do their, uh, oh, where did it go again? I've lost it now. They hired me to do, nope, it's gone. They hired, they hired me to do their go, uh, Google My Business. And what I did was I changed the, oh, here it is. Agence d'intérim. I changed it from Manpower. See, you have it as Le Creuset, right? That's the name of the company. 
And that's what you think that that's what you would think that's what you have to put in the name of the company. But that's not the case. Google My Business hired me to teach agencies that how to optimize Google of My Business. They actually hired me for Google Academy and told me, can you tell everybody how to use it, please? So I did. And then Manpower hired me to do this for them because I, I worked with them. And so instead of just putting Manpower in the, as the name of the company, we put a lot more. We put the keywords that we really, really need. Agence d'intérim in French, just in case you don't speak French, means temp agency. And it's the keyword that we're looking for. And it's the same thing for 700 locations all over France. They have different, um, they have different titles uh, depending, like this one is for restaurant jobs, this one is for something else, energy jobs. And so we optimize the name of manpower in Google My Business, and that really enhances their, um, their, their, their listings. And we could do the same thing, of course, we could do the same thing for uh, Le Creuset, but I want to do that for the product names as well, because it's the, it's the keywords that must be in the name of the product that's going to truly increase and enhance the, um, the, well, the number of impressions and clicks that we get on Amazon. And that's just one of many techniques that I have for optimizing Amazon. There's many others, but they're less priority, and I just don't want to bore you with too many details today. All right, so once again, I think we're almost at the end of it. Yes, right, I forgot to mention there's the Google videos, which is a third priority, but the how-to? Oh, no, 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 no. The how-to has to be at the top of our priority list. Le Creuset has so many amazing products that are really complicated to use. Even if they're not complicated to use, and you're a genius, you still wanna learn how to use this the best way possible. We don't have it in English, we don't have it in French, we don't have it in any language, and we can afford to do this for free across all of our products, prioritizing the most profitable products and the most complicated products that we have, and then we can have featured snippets that says how to above position one whenever you type in something to the effect of how to use a cook pot, for example, or a... Um, one of those pressure cookers or whatever it is that we do, or how to best uh, make a, a bouillon, a, bouillon, a bolognese or something. We can answer those questions. And when it comes to questions, Google and all of the others, you've seen it, related searches, related questions, people also ask. That's the Q&A. That's the Q&A featured snippet. And that can be easily done by answering all of the questions regarding first your brand and your products, let's start with that, and then all of the other products, all of the other questions that will result, most likely result in sales for us, for our highest profitable uh, products. Because it's not about a keyword anymore, it's about what questions are people asking that would lead them to buy Le Creuset's products today? Because there are questions like that. I can't think of one right now off the top of my head. I think that's a little bit much to ask, but we can discuss it. <laughs> and it's not the only one. Then there's the frequently asked questions, which again, it's very similar, but it's more about your products and we can do that. And what would that look like exactly? Well, let me show you. This is, okay, so this website is a website that I built, another demonstration website regarding honey. I like honey. I love the aspect of the, the healing properties of honey, propolis, beeswax. I'm also a patented inventor, and I've invented a few um, inventions. I can't talk about them until the patents come through, but I've invented a few beekeeping uh, inventions. And one of those uh, theories that I had was that honey will help you guys are very close to Italy so you might be aware of the um, Zilella fastidiosa bacterial infection that's killing the olive trees well I have a theory that I put into this article and then I properly optimized it so that with structured data so that it shows up above position one and it has all of this content here and that's featured snippets and then I'm in position one for the keyword as well Forgive the, uh, it's a little hot in here with these lights. And so this is all of these things combined. When we do this for, uh, for Le Creuset, it's just the beginning. But these are free elements that can get us so much more, uh, so much more impressions from paid search and from SEO 
Yahoo, Bing, Naver, everywhere in the world, in every language, just like that. And when I mean just like that, I mean the, the team, the digital marketing team in Japan is not going to have any work to do in order to implement most of the priority ones that I just discussed. Only the technical team has to do that because the content is already there. It's just not well structured yet. And then, of course, we can discuss, finally, we can discuss keywords. We could discuss, um, we could discuss uh, proper uh, consumer uh, targeting all over the world. And we can get the average order value to increase as much as possible by focusing on the right consumers at the right time, in the right language, at the right place, in the right place. Well, I have said a lot. Going back to the, uh, the job description, I think that uh, I, I've, I've mostly I've answered everything here. I've been doing this for 20 years. And, and like I said, I want to work with all of the teams from all over the world to enhance their target market because the Japanese consumer market is absolutely not the same as the German target market. And I'd like to discuss that with you. I'd like to discuss that with them. And then we can find out how to fine tune each country by prioritizing local marketing techniques versus global marketing techniques. And we can win again and again and again in all of the markets. And uh, we, we don't leave any of the, uh, those countries, we don't leave them behind. Well, I've spoken for, for a lot of lo a long time, and um, I hope that this was this was the best that I can do for the first impression. I hope I left you a really good first impression, and I hope that I was right when I said that I want this job more than all of the other applicants that are going to apply to the position. And uh, you'll know that it's true if anybody else has a video. Well, then maybe they want it as much as I do, but even if they have a video. Were they willing to give you everything they have, everything they know, based on absolutely nothing? This is the best that I can do in such a short time. But once we work together, imagine what we'd be capable of doing. Imagine what I can do when I have all of the data, access to all of your data analytics for each country. When I speak to each of the people in all of the countries, we'll be able to do great things for each target market and increase our revenue while decreasing our costs. And finally, the most advanced digital marketing techniques that I can offer, media buying and media spend, we're not ready for it yet. Our cost per acquisition would be too high. But once we are ready, then I know exactly where we're going to push and I know exactly which magazines we should focus on, digital magazines, digital platforms. I know exactly what the target CPA is going to need to be because I'll have access to your data, because I'll have access to your market, and because together, as a global digital marketing team, we will dominate the digital marketing space for luxury cookware. Okay, that's the best first impression I can give. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening, and I sincerely hope to be speaking to you in person soon.